All right, disclaimer, definitely not a math teacher, but we're gonna do our best here. So this is the formula for slope, right? And uh, what we're doing is we're looking for x, okay? So x is over here, and what we need to do is we just need to get x by itself, right? So just kind of like how the y is by itself, we need to find out what is x. So basically what you're gonna need to, need to do is just take all the stuff that's around the x and like shift it over to the other side. So you gotta get rid of it from this side and move it over here. So basically, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other side because they have to be equal, right? So like, obviously if you had like a one on this side and a one on this side, and you wanted to keep them equal and you added two to this side, you'd also have to add two to this side, right? So that's the concept to keep things equal, right? So what I wanna do to get this alone is I see this plus B, and I think, what is the reverse of plus b? How can I get rid of that plus b? Well, I'm just gonna subtract it. So I'll go minus b, right? And then, so what I get from that is, I'll have it only the m and the x, because I just got rid of the b, right? The plus b and the minus b cancel each other out. Equals, I have to keep both sides the same, so I take my y, and I minus b from that. Okay, I can't actually change anything on this side because I don't know what y is because we're working with all variables. So now I have a y minus b is equal to mx. And now when these two variables are just sitting next to each other like this, it means that they're being multiplied. So the opposite of multiplying something is dividing it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this side by m to get the m off of this side. And whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So I'm going to divide this whole thing by m as well. So now I have the x alone. This is equal to, sorry, I think I was supposed to minus b over here. I don't know how to show my work and stuff like that. Also, I think this is how you do it. I don't really know. Um, so I have only x on the side now equals this entire thing. So it's y minus b all over M. Ta-da, I think.